Hey fellas, Mickey. Um, let's do a quick video. Uh, I'm going to Miani's property this weekend um, with my family, my wife and my two kids. So uh, we'll be um, we'll be basically uh, leaving, say four, five in the morning on Saturday, and uh, the property's at Milton, New South Wales. So it's only about, uh, say, two and a half hour drive, including stopping at Macca's for the kids. Um, so I'll probably get there about 7, 7.30 in the morning. Um, so my auntie and my uncle's got uh, about 100 acres at Milton. Um, they've got cattle. They breed horses. Um, they train horses, you know, for riding. Um, Breed horses for I don't know those famous shows where you've got the best looking horse or whatever. Um, they also back onto a state forest. Um, Michael said the state forest is about 10, 20,000 acres. I'm not too sure, but it's pretty big. So, um, so I'm going there, you know, just away with the family and um, yeah, obviously I uh, also want to do some uh, target shooting and you know. Do some bushcraft uh, stuff and um, yeah, things like that. But uh, main purpose is to get the kids away, the wife away. You know, all relaxed. It's only for a weekend, so fortunately, that's all we could do. Um, but I'm keen to do some target shooting. Um, gonna bring the uh, 3030 with me, the Marlin 3030, and. Uh, yeah, shoot some targets with it, uh, head out to the state forest and see if we can get any, any pigs and um, you know, what not. He's got dogs too, so he might shoot a roo and uh, bring the roo back and um, yeah, use it for dog meat. So, yeah, bring in the uh, 3030 with me. Um, gonna take 20 rounds of. Uh, 30-30 with me in, in my bag and I'll keep the rest of the rounds in the car for target shooting. Um, so the gear I'm going to take firstly is the uh, Buck 192. Um, if you guys have seen my videos you've seen the uh, little mod I've done to the sheath here. Fire steel, tinder container, sharpening stone and within that I've got a uh, sail needle and a uh, a uh, metal saw to you know, spark up the uh, fire steel. I don't want to use my blade. This blade tends to uh, dip and scrape when I strike it on the fire steel and it doesn't really give a good spark so I just use the, uh, the saw blade or you know, I'll also be taking my um, Leatherman so I can spark the fire still off the saw there. So, yeah, so, so I'll be taking him, I'll be taking my Leatherman, uh, taking my water bottle with a canteen and a stove on there, um, Tinder in that pocket there. Uh, I'll be taking the uh, Hawk, Pipe Hawk. Just so I can do some bushcrafting and whatnot. And I'll be taking my 511, uh, what do they call it, have a sack bag. It's truth. Um, so, yep, yeah, sits on there. I've got everything in here that I need. Um, I'll just point out my uncle's a bit of a funny fellow. He's, uh, he's a bit of a character and he will play, play some tricks on me. Uh, he said we'll go out to the state forest, and uh, knowing him, he'll probably leave me there. He'll probably uh, walk around a bit and then disappear, jump in his four-wheel drive and drive off, and expect me to get back to his house by myself. So, yeah, that's fine. I'm prepared for that. Um, I've got the 511 watch on me, which, which has a compass, so I'm not bringing a... Uh, 
standard uh, compass. I'm going to use the uh, watch compass just in case he does that. I've got a feeling he will, but anyway, I'll film that if he does. Um, but yeah, in the bag itself, and I'll, I'll tilt the camera down a bit so you can see it. So look, if you guys have seen my video on this, you will know the contents of it, but um, I'll just quickly go through some additions I've, I've added and just quickly go through what's in there. So I've added a, uh, a CB in there. Um, I've added my jet lighter, or jet lighter basically. Um, I fill it up quite regularly so it's pretty full, so I carry that with me. I've uh, got me spoon and fork with me and then just got my uh, reading glasses just in case I need to do some fine tasks or whatnot. Um, I've got a whistle. And uh, within this whistle, I've got some tinder and some matches in there, so I won't open it up. But there's another firing, fire starting uh, apparatus there, plus a whistle. Didn't blow too hard, but uh, it's pretty loud, so keep that in there. And just got another spare lighter, um, some Ziploc bags, some batteries, some uh, needle and thread some buttons so yeah just uh, keep it in there just in case so eh? in here I've got um, some dead oil and some other you know medical uh, goods in here got a good quality pair of tweezers you never know ticks and whatnot medical grade uh, tape so that's just a little basic med kit there um, on this side, I do have a more extensive med kit, or a little bit more extensive. Uh, got my snake bite wrapped there. Got my med kit here with uh, band aids and water purification tablets and, and whatnot. And then I've got some uh, two ponchos, some cheapy spare ponchos in there. You know, I've got obviously uh, better quality ponchos, but it just takes up too much room in this bag. And at the end of the day, it's, it's a day bag, it's a day pack, and um, we'll slash overnight if you have to. Um, so I'm not going to put too much gear in it. Um, got my fire starting stuff in this pocket. I won't go through it all, but it's got my fire tin and. Uh, uh, tinder in there and um, some hexi blocks. Um, yeah, just got some stuff in there. I've got me uh, torch. Very very bright, so it always uh, stays on the outside of my bag here. It sits perfectly secure and easy to get. Inside the bag, you'll notice there's you know, heaps of room in there. I'll leave room in there so I can shove my um, iPad in there for filming. But at the bottom I've got um, paracord, I've got wet ones, I've got my fishing kit, I've got some Kleenex tissues, I've got a bar of dead old soap, I've got some duct tape, I've got my uh, just a emergency knife, you know, my Ming pin by 511. Yeah, it's a pretty good knife. I've got my sharpening rod, I've got a texter, I've got uh, Four spare AA batteries. This torch takes two of them. I've got a pen. In this, I won't show you the contents, but I've got a notepad, I've got a emergency blanket. Um, I've got those TNT satchels. Uh, I've got another um, sewing kit in there. Um, in here, I've got a garbage bag and some aluminium foil. Um, so that's about it, you know, in there. In the back section here, I've got my uh, wallet. I've got two handkerchiefs in there. Handkerchiefs, sorry. I've got um, a pair of leather gloves and I've got my tarp in there. So I think the tarp's, um, oh geez, I don't know. Something like 4x6 or 5x7, something like that. Anyway, it's in there perfectly. So that's my bag, 
that I'll carry when I go hunting. I've got my carabiner there, which I basically uh, usually, when this is hooked up on me, I, I'll basically show you. So, you know, strapped around me. I'll grab the water bottle. Strap it on there. And away we go. You know, it doesn't really uh, get in the way. That's pretty secure. And um, basically wear my my day pack, hunting pack, survival EDC pack, like that. Strap the knife. Straps right there. Um, I'll be carrying 20 rounds of ammo with me in the bag when I go for the day hunt. No need for any more than that. Um, be carrying me hawk with me also. So again, that uh, fits perfectly on this molly strapping on the bag. Fits perfectly actually. So, so again, I'll be walking around. The stick doesn't really uh, get in the way of my leg. It uh, pretty much you know, sticks out, so I can walk around with comfort and uh, it's not getting in my way. And if I need it, pull it out and grab it. So, so the hawk's coming with me also. Good old uh, 511 have a stack bags coming with me. So that's about it, fellas. Um, so I'm looking forward to this little trip. And uh, if I get anything, if I get anything. If I don't, doesn't matter. I'm just out there to be in the bush with my kids, do some horse riding, do some bushcraft. Keen to use this knife. I've been using it around the house, and uh, you know, in regards to just doing feather sticks and whatnot, and uh, it's working out to be a really, really top blade. Uh, really comfy, sharp as. It does shave the hairs off my arm. It probably will shave the uh, hairs off my face. Probably give myself a shave, but I won't dare try that. Um, probably dare shave, eh? You can see the grays happening here. There you go. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to test him out. Um, you know, I've been testing this out around the house, you know, doing feather sticking and uh, fine little bushcraft tasks, and it's a great little knife. Um, Four inch blade, that's all I need. Um, I think I've said in my other videos, you know, as long as I've got this and that, happy days. I'll live out in the bush, you know, this for fine tasks, this for skinning, this for processing wood, um, sharpening stone. Yeah, like these two items here would just get me by. So, um, yeah, if my uncle does play silly buggers with me. Um, I'm sure my wife won't appreciate that, but uh, I'm going to have my mobile phone on me, but if he does play silly buggers with me, I'll play along with it. I'll get back to his house, no worries about that. Um, that's it guys, so that's my gear for a little quick weekender, um, a little quick day hunt. And, um, you know, on the other hand, if I wasn't going for a quick weekender, and I was going for a... Uh, a three, four, five day hunt. Um, you know, to be honest, I'd be very comfortable just bringing this with me, with my water. Obviously, I've got the purification tablets in my um, in my uh, med kit, and I've got the uh, canteen can to boil water, to purify water. I've got my cutting tool. I've got my wood processing tool. I've got my shelter in the bag. I've got lighting for night. I've got fire making tools. Um, you know, what's saying I can't uh, camp out and enjoy it for two, three days just with this gear. So, and one day I will do that, and one day I will film that. So, um, uh, I apologise that I do so many videos in my shed. I just haven't had the chance to get out to the bush. Um, kids with school and Money obviously uh, has just been restricting me. Um, 
I was hoping to go down to Milton with my four-wheel drive and do a video on the gear that